We're about to get started with a Jessner peel. I'm super excited. I'm gonna get like strong forearms from videoing. <laughs> that wasn't as smooth as I thought it would be. <laughs> and then 10 being like someone threw acid on your face. Ooh. Shows us our clinical endpoint on that little cheek from one to 10. Um, I'd say like seven. Like we're feeling the burn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our vlog. Make sure if you haven't already, subscribe, comment, make sure you're following us. We have two new vlogs every single week, but today I'm gonna take you guys around my treatment room with me, watch me do all my clients, and see all the fun treatments. So, we're about to get started with a Jessner peel. I'm super excited. Come with us, come see what we're doing. All right, so we're doing a Jessner peel on her today. This is your first chemical peel, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? I am, yeah. <laughs> We're going to start off with just getting her cleansed. Take a look at her skin. Yeah. Beautiful. She needs it. <laughs> no. <laughs> same, same. I know. We're all peeling tonight. I know. I'm so excited. So right now we're just cleansing her skin with an ultra gentle cleanser. You don't want to use any kind of stripping or targeted cleansers when you're doing chemical peels. So you just want to make sure whatever your cleanser you're using is super gentle. Just really cleansing that skin, getting off any extra products, makeup, oils. You can get like strong forearms from videoing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. Okay, so now that we have her cleansed, we're going to pre-treat her skin with the AHA prep. So this is just degreasing the skin and getting all the oils off the skin, making sure she's ready for her treatment. Okay guys, so we're doing the Jessner peel today. So what's in the Jessner peel? We have resorcinol, we have salicylic acid, and we have lactic acid. So it's a blended peel. This is so good for hyperpigmentation, aging, fine lines and wrinkles, acne prone skin. So this is gonna be a medium depth peel. So she's gonna peel a whole bunch. We're super excited, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, that wasn't as smooth as I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to do it the right way. She's, 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 paper she's having a day, guys. I promise I can do skin, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby, I'm going to give you a fan. Hey. Lift your head up for me. Mm -hmm. So these are the best fans. I'm sure any Estes watching this know that last year, your innovative queen, Savannah Boda, found this fan on Amazon and it's a lifesaver. It's gonna make your treatment like 50 times better. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so with the Jasner peel, what we're looking for for our clinical endpoint is frosting. So you're gonna be Frosty the Snowman in a minute. <laughs> frosty the Snowman. <laughs> ding, ding. I don't even know that song. All right, we're gonna start right here at the chin. Probably do about three passes, but we're gonna see how your skin handles mm -hmm. everything. Once we do the first pass, I'm going to ask you from 1 to 10 how spicy you're feeling. <laughs> 1 being like little teeny tiny tingles. Mm -hmm. And then 10 being like someone threw acid on your face. Ooh. How do we feel so far? Uh, I'd say like a solid like 4. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All right. We're going to let that. First pass, marinate, and then we'll go in for her second in about five minutes. How are we feeling? Good? Yeah, it's definitely gone up from before. I know. <laughs> yeah. She's like, we're feeling the burn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you guys can see we're actually getting some frosting right here. Right on the side, can you see that? So that shows us our clinical endpoint on that little cheek, but we still have some more to go. So you can see some residual um frosting right here on her little breakouts but we want to see a full white cast like casper the ghost how are we feeling from one to ten um i'd say like seven perfect mm -hmm. So tonight, you're not going to wash your face, okay? Okay. So let's talk chemical peel no-nos. So 
There are a few things you cannot do when you get a chemical peel. Number one, no working out for at least seven days. Even if that skin has already sloughed off and you're done peeling, you still can have heat reactivate that old hyperpigmentation, things like that. So no sun, no working out. Even if you're going to get mail out of the mailbox, you have to have on sunscreen at least three to four weeks after a chemical peel. So it's not just, you know, once you're done peeling, it's all good to go do everything. You still have to be cautious. The next thing is no picking. You cannot pick the skin. So no peeling the skin. When you see like little skin flaps, you have to get little brow scissors and cut those guys off. And then no hot water because it'll make that skin peel off before it's ready. So cool water, lukewarm water, but nothing that's like steamy hot showers. So those are the chemical peel no-nos. And then of course, when you're washing your face, you don't wanna wash like this. You wanna just pat the skin. So no actual physical exfoliation, no clarisonics, no harsh rags, washcloths, anything like that. We're gonna do one more pass to get that full frost. You kind of have almost like a opaque a little bit right now. Okay, you ready for this last pass, sister? It's not. It's it definitely stings a lot, but it's bear, not that. It's bearable. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna start on this side, mm -hmm. and then we're all finished. You did so good. Thank you. So the cool thing about chemical peels as well, guys, is you can actually gauge how deep it's going with your pressure. So it's not only how many passes you're doing, it's also how deep you're pressing in the skin with this woven gauze. Because this is like a rough, scratchy gauze, so I can actually make this peel penetrate deeper depending on my pressure. So I'm doing pretty firm pressure on her, not anything light. Perfect. And she's done, so we're gonna let her fan <laughs> off and we're gonna see what else is happening around the clinic.